question. Do you prefer when it's dark in the back with like the candle and just those little fairy lights over there? Or do you prefer that I have one of my box lights on so that you can see the back? Really, I just pick the one that like shows my face better. Sometimes when I turn that light on, it makes my face darker. But then if I don't have the light on, sometimes I look really blown out. I'm gonna turn it off for now. And if it gets a little bit cloudier and the sun isn't as strong, then I will turn that light back on. <clears throat> Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Natasha, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a lip collection video and I really haven't shown my lip products in this kind of detail since my lip declutter video, which was, I think, I did a massive one in like 2017 or early 2018 and then I did a smaller one at the end of 2018. So I'm gonna go by category and I'm gonna show you some swatches on my hand and give you an idea of what are my favorite types of formulas and my favorite types of colors to wear. So I'm gonna start with bullet lipsticks. I have six of them. I'm gonna try to go by color. I have three Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipsticks and the first one, Bitch Perfect, this one's like a peachy pink. This is from their K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula. I have another one from that formula in the shade Live It Up, which is one of the newer ones that I got. These are not pretty swatches. <laughs> I think this one is inspired by Liv Taylor, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is slightly deeper and much more pink. And the third one I have is the one that I've used the most. If you can see, I only have like a little nub left. And this is the first one I ever bought in Pillow Talk. And this is from their Matte Revolution formula, which at first I preferred Bitch Perfect. I thought it was a little bit more moisturizing, but now that I've worn them a lot more, I actually find that the Matte Revolution formula is the one that I prefer. I think it's not as drying, if you can believe it. I do have the matching Pillow Talk lip liner, and it's just a little nub at this point, but I can't find it right now. I think it's so small that it must have fallen in the crack somewhere, and hopefully I find it at some point. It must be like in some random coat pocket or something. And when we talk about lip pencils later on in the video, I do have a color dupe from a different brand, so I can at least show you what it would look like. Over the past year or so, I have been gifted a couple lipsticks, and then I did buy one myself when it was on a really good sale, I think during the 21 Days of Beauty sale. But for a long time, these were the main three that I used. Used. Bullet lipsticks just take me forever to use up and I thought okay I'll splurge on more expensive ones because the packaging and the Charlotte Tilbury brand it's a very like aspirational brand for me. I do love how much they put into this rose gold packaging and just all the details behind it. Honestly once I finish up a couple of these lipsticks which I do intend to use up all three of these there's no way I'm letting these go to waste. I'll have to really consider if it is something that I would want to repurchase. I know for the Pillow Talk shade there is a Flower Beauty dupe for it. I'm pretty sure in the shade Petal Pout and by now there have got to be some more affordable versions of these colors so I don't know if I would necessarily purchase these again, but I'm really enjoying them while I have them. For my last three bullet lipsticks, I have one from Urban Decay and I have two from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The Urban Decay one is the one that I bought, I think during a Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, and the other two were gifted. The shade Honey was gifted from my friend Katie and Soft Pink was gifted from my future mother-in-law. The shade from Urban Decay is a purpley shade. It is kind of like a slightly deeper purple nude for me. I do really like the formula of these lipsticks. If they go on sale and there's another shade that I wanna try, maybe either Naked or Native, I would consider purchasing them, maybe once I've worked through some of the other nude lipsticks in my collection. And then I have Honey from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a deeper brown, kind of peachy nude for me. And then Soft Pink, is, like I said, a very bright, vibrant pink, kind of like an orchid pink. This one actually pulls even brighter on me than it does just in the bullet. That brownie shade, I don't wear a ton on its own. I usually mix this with Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury because it's a little bit more peachy pink. I put that on top of this just to make it a little bit more of a wearable shade for me. But I do think it is really pretty and, you know, sometimes I do like to wear brown lipstick, so it's nice to have one in bullet lipstick form. So those are the other three lipsticks I have. Back Talk from Urban Decay, Honey, and Soft Pink from ABH. Next category is lip liners, and I have half nude and half colorful in my collection. The majority of these are from NYX. I really love their slide on glide on formula, but I do have a couple from other brands as well. Like I said, I do have 
the Pillow Talk lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, but I don't know where it is. But there's an exact dupe that I have found, and that's from NYX. It's in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. And I actually used up an entire one of these and then purchased another one to replace it. And this is a really, really nice natural lip line shade for me. I am wearing it a little bit underneath my lip gloss today. And usually when I wear a nude liquid lipstick, I use this to kind of make my top line a little bit more symmetrical. Another one that I really like that's almost done is Sugar Glass by NYX. This is very similar to the Nude Suede Shoes, but it's a little bit more brown, if you can see. I really like this one as well, especially if I'm going for a deeper nude or more browny nude. This is from NYX, but it's not from their Slide On Glide On formula. It's just their regular lip pencil formula, and this is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I remember people used to rave about this all the time back in the day. It's a little bit drier, less creamy, probably more similar to like the MAC lip pencils. I hear those have a drier formula. And this one is in wood, if you prefer lip liners that are like that. Very, very similar to Nude Suede Shoes, maybe a little bit deeper with a little bit more pink in it. And then the most pink nude that I have is, once again, from the NYX Slide On Glide On formula. This is in the shade, it rubbed off on the pencil but I'm pretty sure it's in the shade Bed Rose and this one is very similar to that NYX pencil I just swatched in Peekaboo Neutral but it is much more pink and because of the formula it's a little bit more creamy. And lastly this one might not technically count as a lip pencil maybe just like a lip stick and it is from e.l.f. and it's in the shade Nearly Nude. Once again I remember people raving about these. These are very good. I mean you're not gonna get exact precision if you're trying to line your lips because the actual product is a lot thicker than a pencil but it is a really pretty peachy nude shade the lightest of the ones that i have and i think these on their own are like three bucks so if you're looking to build your lipstick or lip pencil collection you want a bunch of different colors but you don't want to be spending like 10 or so dollars per product i would definitely try out the elf ones first and i think there's a little sharpener at the bottom too if you want to sharpen it to make it uh, a closer point now on to the colorful lip pencils. I usually use these in conjunction with a brighter liquid lipstick so that I can more evenly line my lips and create a barrier so it's easier for me to kind of trace out and not go outside of the lines. And once again, like I mentioned with the nudes, to kind of make my top lip a little bit more symmetrical. So let's look at the pinks and the purples first. I have one bright pink one from NYX in the Slide On Glide On formula. This is in the shade Disco Rage. I remember I used to have a Kat Von D liquid lipstick back in the day that was very, very similar to this. It's a very bright neon hot pink, very pretty. I love wearing this to like concerts and stuff. And the other one I usually pair with my purple liquid lips. I would like to maybe find a brighter purple. I did use up a Tarte lip pencil, I think in the shade On Fleek, and that was a really bright warm purple and that paired really nicely with like Como from Stila. This one I pair with my other purples, but I think I would like to grab a couple different undertones for purples to better match the liquid lipsticks. And this is from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Bittersweet. It reminds me a lot of the NYX Slide On Glide On formula, but it's double the price. Now for reds, I have three different undertones depending on what type of red I'm going for. The first one is the brightest, more orangey red. Once again, NYX Slide On Glide On formula, and this is in the shade Summer Tease. It's very orangey, very bright, really pretty color. And then this one is a little bit more true red, a little bit deeper. This is in the shade Red Tape. And this one's more of like a blue base red rather than an orangey red. So I pair this with like my more classic reds. And lastly, if I'm going like deep red, blood red, wine red, stuff like that, burgundies or really dark browns, I'll use this one in the shade Brick House. And this one is the deepest. This one needs sharpen, which is why it looks so patchy. It's just because it's scraping on my skin. This one is more blue base than orangey and it has a little bit more brown in it. So I go for this shade when I'm going a little bit more vampy. So these are my colorful lip liners. I have Disco Rage, Bittersweet, Summer Tease, Red Tape, and Brick House. While we wait for my hand to dry and recover a little bit from all the scrubbing, why don't I talk about my one lip gloss, and that is from ABH. This is in the shade Amber, and this was a gift from my friend Katie. I think she got it for me for my birthday last year. And this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing that Nude Suede Shoes lip liner from NYX underneath. I filled in my lips and lined with that 
and then I put this over top. So I'm not a lip gloss expert because this is the only one I own and I'm not one to buy lip glosses or wear them very often. I don't like how easily they can get stuck in my hair and my hair tends to get like everywhere so it's really hard to avoid it not sticking to my face. But this is an incredibly pigmented gloss and it's also very thick. So it's something that you can put on, it's going to last and as it kind of fades throughout the day, when I say fade, I mean it just kind of gets a little less glossy, it kind of dries down in a way to still look very opaque. So it's kind of like if you want your lip gloss to be more like a liquefied lipstick, then the ABH lip glosses are what you should look at. It doesn't have any metallic element or any glitter or sparkle to it. It doesn't have any offensive taste or smell. I am glad that I have one in my collection, but if I have a lip product that I want to add a little bit more moisture to, I'll just wear whatever lip product I want and then put a clear balm over it or I'll put on the Kopari Lip Glossy which is just a clear lip balm that if you put on a ton it'll look like a gloss. This one I think I accidentally ran through the wash or something because when I put it on my lips now it kind of tastes like soap so I don't know if that means it expired or most likely I accidentally ran it through the washer but this is another lip balm lip gloss type of product that I really like and this is just a clear lip gloss but they do have other colors that you can get as well. I don't know if that's going to be something you can even really see. Maybe you can just see the reflection in there. This is super hydrating. I love this in the winter time when my lips are really really dry and I need something that's going to make me feel like my lips are healing. <laughs> really great. I think these are like 12 bucks a piece but usually you can get them like from the Ulta sales and stuff. And most of the little Kopari sampler kits that you buy have at least one of these full size in there as well. Why don't we look at the other like balmy products in my collection and then we can finish with liquid lipsticks. So this one I'm not going to talk too much about because I talk about it all the time. It's the NYX hashtag this is everything lip loving balm. It's five dollars. You get a ton of product in here. I did calculate how many uses it took to finish and it's like a penny per use. It's fantastic. I usually buy them in bulk whenever NYX has sales on their website because I can't find these in stores. Some people have said that they find these in end caps at Target or if you have an actual NYX store near you, like a physical brick and mortar NYX store, sometimes they have these as well. It looks red in the tin, but it really just is clear on your lips. I'll give you a swatch, but I don't think that's going to do anything. I don't know if you can see it. And I usually will just pat this on top of liquid lipsticks if I feel like they're a little bit too drying. Or I'll pat it on top of a lip liner that I've used to fill my entire lips. This one is a lip crayon. It's the only one I own. It's from ColourPop and it's in the shade The Strand. This came in a collab that I purchased recently. It was the Andrea Mattiano collab. And I have used this a handful of times already. It's a really pretty nude pink, kind of goes on like a balm on my lips. It's not the most moisturizing product in the world, but it is something that you can easily slap on if you want to add a little bit of color to your lips. It's easy to reapply. It's in the shape of a little pencil so that you can kind of more easily shape around your lips. The real thing that stands out about this is that it smells like grapefruit to me. It's very, very strong. Some people have said they don't like the scent. I don't love it. I don't love when lip products are scented to begin with, but this one is incredibly strong and it takes a while to go away. I don't actually taste anything though, which would make that a lot worse. If I could taste it too, that would be gross, but I can't really. Even just having it on my hand, very, very strong, like very fruity scent. And also I don't feel like the cap stays on very well. It just very easily comes off. So I, I do worry keeping this in my backpack that the lid's just gonna come off and it'll get gross. But other than that, it's fine. I have two more balms. This one is an SPF balm from Pacifica. It is the Sun and Lip Care SPF 30 Mineral Lip Balm. It's water resistant, broad, spectrum sunscreen and it says it lasts 80 minutes. It's in the shade nude and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. And this is a very dry product. You don't want to put this on if your lips are dry. It's like you want to put maybe something else on and this on top of it. If you can see, that's what it looks like. Once you warm it up a little bit on your lips, it's, it's better. And it's a mineral lip sunscreen. This is great if you are like traveling or you're gonna be in the sun a lot. It is good to have like a SPF lip product in your arsenal. This has a very like mineral sunscreen scent to it, but it doesn't have any type of taste. And they do have a peachier version of this as well. And the last one is one of my favorites. This is from Catrice. It's their volumizing lip balm. I think this one is in the shade Beautiful Lips. And they have three different shades. They have a deeper one that I also really like. And then they have a third one that's kind of shimmery and I don't like that one. But this one I've talked about before in the past. I did a how long does it take to use up makeup series on this one to calculate how many uses it took to finish. And it leaves a very milky pink look on your lips. It's slightly minty, but not 
painful or overbearing. It's like $4.99 for one of these and I love just throwing it on when I want to add a little bit of like a milky pink aspect to my lips. Big fan. I need to get a couple more of these because I don't have a lot left from this one, but I do recommend it. I don't see them on the Ulta website anymore, so I'll probably have to order straight from the Catrice website. So those are my lip glosses, lip crayons, and balms. Now we're going to look at the bulk of my lip collection, which is liquid lipsticks. More than anything, I love liquid lipsticks and having lots of different colors to play with. So I'm going to break it into three color categories. I'm going to start with nudes because I have a lot of those. Then I will talk about pinks and purples. And then lastly, I'll talk about browns, oranges, and reds. I'm going to try to go from lightest to darkest nude pink shade. I think the most pink one that I own is this one from Jordana. It is their Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Creme Brulee. These are really nice, and if I make an order from the Jordana website, I will definitely pick up a couple more of these shades. This is a very moussey formula. It's pigmented. It's not overtly drying. It does have a sweet kind of cupcake scent to it that eventually fades away, and these are only $4.99 a piece. The next one after that would be ABH Crush. This is one of my favorite nude liquid lipsticks. I do really like this color a lot, and it's just slightly less pink than the one from Jordana, and maybe a little bit deeper when it dries down. Next, we have this little trio of minis from Stila. I love buying these little minis because I know I love the formula, but I like to be able to have a little bit more uh, variety, even though these probably look all the same. The one that's my favorite, this is probably one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever, one of my favorite colors ever, and the Stila is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. This is the shade Perla. This is so pretty. Whenever I do a colorful eye look and I don't know what to pair with it, I choose Perla because it just always looks good. It is more cool tone. It has a very, very slight purple undertone and it is just the perfect cool tone nude for me personally. I just love it. I've used up a mini of this before and I purchased a new one almost immediately because I couldn't picture not having this in my collection. The next one that is very, very similar is Bocce. There have been some times where I put this on on accident because I thought it was Perla and then I realized later that it was Bocce. I think maybe the only difference is that it is slightly deeper, but even that, I really don't think there's a big difference between the two, which is fine by me because it's a shade I use all the time, so I don't mind having two minis of it. And the last one is in Serenata. That. I remember having one of these in the past and it is very brown so I actually ended up giving it to my mom because she loves brown colors and she's Italian so she liked that it was named an Italian word, serenata. Serenata? So they're all Italian, like Venezia. Serenata. That's uh, the songs that the men sing underneath the balcony of their Serenade? Mom. Yes. Oh, that's cute. This one, especially when it dries down, does get quite deep on me. I think it just can be a little bit harsh if I don't do other things with my makeup. Usually when I wear a shade like this, I kind of pile on the bronzer as well, or at least have fake tan on or something, because if I'm just at my palest and I don't have anything on to warm up my complexion, this can look a bit stark on me. This one is a nude from Dose of Colors in the shade Stone. I bought this 100% because of the hype. I remember so many YouTubers wearing this and it always looked so, so good on them. And I do like it, but when it dries down, it does end up being a little bit deeper than Perla, which is my favorite shade. It is a really nice nude matte for me. How similar do these look? They're pretty much all the same color, but I swear that when they're on my lips, they're different. And the very last one is the most like grayish one. And this is the liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Toffee Talk. I purchased this because I think I saw someone in the What's Up in Makeup Facebook group they showed this as the same lip color as the goth filter on Snapchat. Do you guys remember? I don't even know if they still have that filter. I do want to recreate it one day, which is why I purchased this. I thought if I ever want to wear like gothy makeup, I'll wear this lip color. Let me know if you'd want to see me recreate that filter. I did do a video a long time ago when I first started my channel where I recreated the comic book character filter and I really liked how it turned out and I do think I could recreate the goth filter if that's something you're interested in but if you can see that's definitely um, more purpley than Serenata, less brown, a little bit deeper, just definitely more gray. Not something I wear every day but I do like having it especially if I do want to recreate that goth filter which I think I might just do anyway just for fun. So these are all of my light pink and nude liquid lipsticks. Okay, now for the orangey browns and reds. I have five, six 
liquid lipsticks that fall under that category. So the one orangey liquid lipstick that I own is from Dose of Colors and it's in the shade Old Flame. This is a very moussey type of texture so if you prefer liquid lipsticks that are a little less drying I would definitely try the Dose of Colors ones. They remind me a lot of the Ofra liquid lipsticks. This one is a little bit more of a muted pumpkin shade I would say. <laughs> really pretty. I don't wear oranges all the time because I do find that it has a tendency to make my teeth look a little bit yellow. I mean, if you're going to wear a lipstick that you want to make your teeth look whiter, you would want something that's more blue-based versus orange-based. But I still love this shade. It's one of the most unique liquid lipstick shades that I own. It's really pretty. And I do have one that's a little bit deeper than that, but still kind of like an orangey red. This is in the shade Campfire. It's again from Dose of Colors. Ulta had a sale on Dose of Color liquid lipsticks, I think for half off, so I purchased four of them to try out. This is a little bit deeper than Old Flame, and it's a little bit more red, so I do find that this is a more wearable color for me. And the fourth Dose of Colors liquid lip that I own is in the shade Merlot, and I hesitate to even put it on my hand because this shade stains like crazy. This shade is beautiful. This is the one that makes a statement whenever I wear it. And if you can see, it's like a raspberry red. It's very red and is more blue based and it does have a very like hot pink base to it. If you even look at the actual wand, you can see the wand part has a lot of pink on it. Super pretty, but this stains. Like you put this on your lip and then not even a minute later, you wipe it off, you're gonna have hot pink lips underneath there. So if that's something you're looking for, this is really great for that, but it's just not something that I like to wear all the time. I have one grungy brown shade. This is from Ofra. It's in the shade Americano. It's in their old packaging, and I love this. I think this is a fantastic color. It's really great for fall. It's really great for winter. It's a dark brown, but it has a lot of warmth to it, so I find it's a lot more wearable than Serenata from Stila. They're probably the same depth, but this one it just has a little bit more of a wearability for me and I think it brings out my eye color. I know this is very old. I know I should get rid of it. And when I do, I'll just repurchase it because I do love having it. And the last two I have are reds from Stila. The first one here is in the shade Venezia and this is the orangey red. This is one of the first liquid lipsticks I ever purchased. I started working at Ulta, I think in 2015 and the first lipstick that I bought was the shade Venezia. This is a different tube. I bought a new tube last year, but I just love that color. It's so pretty, really, really nice pop, I think on any skin tone, and it's really, really nice for summer. And the other one is once again from Stila, but this is in the shade, I don't know if it's Fiery or Fieri, but this is the blue-based deeper equivalent to Venezia. Much more similar to Merlot, but it doesn't have as much of a hot pink undertone as Merlot does. I remember I was in a wedding, in June of last year and we all wore this shade with black dresses. It was really pretty. A very nice classic red. So these are all of the orangey red brown shades that I own. I have Old Flame, Campfire, and Merlot from Dose of Colors. This is Americano from Ofra and these two are from Stila. They're in Venezia and Fiery or Fieri, I'm not sure. All right, the last and my favorite category the pinks and purples. So I have five here. The first one I'm gonna talk about is my most wearable purple, I guess you could say. This is Soft Lilac from ABH. This reminds me a lot of Backtalk from Urban Decay. Wow, okay, so I thought it was like Backtalk from Urban Decay, but it's actually not that similar at all. Backtalk is a little bit more cool toned and not as deep. Soft Lilac does tend to deepen on my skin tone, and so it is a little bit darker than what it looks like on my hand here. The next one is my only metallic liquid lipstick, and this is actually from Colored Rain. This is in the shade Cotton Candy, but cotton and candy are spelled with Ks. And I don't think that this is a shade that they sell anymore. I think this was limited edition or it was being discontinued when I purchased it. This is very cool toned. This is kind of like a gray purple. And then the reflect on it is kind of a gold shade. And this is not something I wear that often. I'm really glad I figured that out before I bought a bunch because there was a time when metallic liquid lipsticks were really in. I knew I know a bunch of brands came out with them. So I'm glad I only purchased one before I figured out that I'm not a big fan. But this one's so unique, it's really pretty. I think it would be cool as an eyeshadow as well, which is probably something I should do so I can get some more use out of it. But it has kind of like a light gold 
reflect super pretty and the formula is actually not bad either it's not a super drying formula but it is something that will dry down and just to give you a heads up the Jordana one the Ofra one and the dose of colors one those ones have moussier formulas and they will sort of dry down where they don't like bleed outside of your lip line but they're not 100% transfer proof the ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Stila those ones will stay put. Those ones will dry down more. The other ABH liquid lipstick I have is in the shade Madison. This is really pretty. This is one of my favorite purples. I love wearing this to concerts also. And this one is just a really bright, vibrant kind of orchid purple. So pretty. Big fan. And whenever I look at liquid lipsticks, it's always these types of shades that I gravitate towards. And I have to remind myself that I have plenty of purples at home and I don't need to buy any more. And the next one is from Stila. This is so much fun. I remember using up a mini of this and purchasing the full size. This is in the shade Como. It's a very vibrant electric purple and I paired it a lot with that on fleek lip liner from Tarte. I think they still sell that. Those are pretty much the exact same color. Maybe the one from Tarte is a little less warm toned than this, but this is just such a fun purple. I love it. Once again, I like wearing it to concerts. And it's just such a great color. I wear it a lot in the summertime. One of my favorite colors. Como, Venezia, and Perla are my three favorite liquid lipstick shades. And the very last one, I don't wear a ton because it can be a bit patchy and you do have to build it up a lot in order to get full impact. This is from Wet n Wild. It's the liquid cat suit in the shade Oh My Dolly. And this I replaced my Kat Von D. I think it was called Backstage Bambi if I remember correctly, but there was a bright hot pink liquid lipstick from Kat Von D that I really liked. And once I got rid of everything from that brand, I bought this to replace it. It is an exact shade dupe and I do pair this with Disco Rage, that hot pink lip liner from NYX. It is really pretty, um, but it, like I said, the formula is a little bit trickier and it is harder to build up to get full opacity without it being streaky or without being too heavy or gloppy on the lips, so I don't wear it a ton. If anyone knows of a really hot pink liquid lipstick from a cruelty-free brand, please let me know. So these are my purples and brights. I have Soft Lilac from ABH, Back Talk from Urban Decay, Cotton Candy from Colored Rain, Madison from ABH, Como from Stila, and Oh My Dolly from Wet n Wild. And those are all of my lip products. I hope you enjoyed kind of taking a sneak peek into my collection. Let me know if there are any other categories you want me to do this for. In my original eyeshadow palette collection, some people mentioned that they would be interested in looking at my blush collection as well, so that might be the next one that I do. I'll probably do one a month until I don't have any more categories to cover. I'm really loving watching collection videos right now, especially since I have a lot more free time on my hands than I normally do. Looking at all of my lipsticks again, has really shown me which ones I haven't used in a while so hopefully I'll remember to pull these out a little bit more than I have been but in the meantime that's everything I have thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video bye guys